Hey everyone, um, okay, I wanted to do a second part of uh, the opiate chat that I had with you guys. Um, I have been clean for seven to eight years. Um, it's not something I keep track of, just because I don't really want to remember that part of my past, so it's just something that doesn't, uh, doesn't come to mind as to a certain date that I had quit or whatever the case is. It's been at least seven to eight years. Um, the reasoning behind my drug use, um, as might be for some others as well, but everybody has their own story. Um, I grew up uh, with an alcoholic mother who divorced my father when I was young and uh, getting with guys that were dealing drugs and uh, were very abusive to her. Um, there's things that I've seen as a child that no child should have to see. And also I've been taught things that I shouldn't have been taught at any age for that matter. Um, I'm talking scales and such because I was a diabetic that was their their way of saving their their ass I guess um, if the cops ever did break in or bust them or whatever the case was the scale was to be used for my food to be measured which is ridiculous but back in the day that's the way it went um, so yeah, I was taught to use the scale at a young age, uh, just in case the cops ever did bust into the house, uh, which I really don't think is appropriate. Um, so yeah, I've got, uh, with some of the things that went on, um, there is some psychological damage, I guess you could say. Um, really, um, the drug use started when I broke up with my ex um, I had my first child with uh, my way of coping was turning to drugs and eventually um, the coping wasn't doing the drugs weren't doing the coping that I was expecting and things just got deeper and deeper and deeper and I ended up getting deeper in, into the drugs and into harder drugs and uh, I I don't know really it was there's quite a few things that that created this issue with me um, like I said the background that I had when I was younger kind of left me scarred for a bit um, a bit I'm still scarred today um, Losing my first son was um, a major heartbreak for me, and uh, on top of all of that, uh, I was struggling with the fact that I'm bisexual. So yeah, drugs were a coping mechanism for me, and uh, as many people, they probably are in the same situation. It's a coping mechanism, and they need help. I mean, I can totally understand where they're coming from. And uh, I just wanted to share a little tidbit of my story with you guys so that you are a little more understanding of why um, I became a drug user um, and where my story had come from. So that was it. Um, I hope that this will help. Uh, some people be able to come to acceptance of themselves as well as realize that they don't want to be in the lifestyle that they are in and maybe get some help, go to rehab, um, do whatever you need to do, move away from the town that you're living in, get away from the people that you're hanging out with. Uh, those were some of the major things that helped me. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm hoping that this video will help some people and uh, let's just hope for the best for them, I guess. Um, if you happen to like my little chats, 
give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will pop in and talk to y'all again. Have a great week.